Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'll be going over the Divi Post Navigation Module. So before we dive into the tutorial here, I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to have a special affiliate link discount in the description of this video. If you want to get 10 to 20% off of your purchase, you can go to WPWithTom.com slash Divi. And I also just wanted to mention that I'll be posting these Divi module related tutorials here on my channel regularly. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of these. And with that quick intro out of the way, let's dive into the Divi post navigation module. So overall, this module can be used to help your website users navigate from one post to the previous or the next post if they desire to. And this can be really good for keeping people on your website for longer and increase your dwell time on your website as well. So I'm just going to go and click on this post right here. I just set up three dummy posts and you'll notice that all the categories say logos for the categories here. And that's going to come into play here in a second. So if I just click on this one right here, notice that I clicked on the middle one. If we scroll down here, we can go and add a new section once we enable the visual builder here. And then I'm going to scroll down once this loads and I'm going to add a new row. So I'm going to click right here, add new section a regular section and then insert the row regular row right here so here i'm going to want to search for post navigation and there it is and by default you see that since it was the middle one i clicked we actually have two it shows the previous link right here the previous post and then we have the next post as well so that would be the most recent one that you posted on your website so these are pulling from the posts area within the dashboard i just want to show that and make that clear so you can see the most recent one I actually published right here, 11.36 a.m. was published right here and it says how to make a Skype logo. And you can see this is how to make a Skype logo. And the one before it was best brand logo designs. And this would be the previous post, best brand logo designs right here. So if you wanted to, you can actually go and name these something. So you can just go and put like previous right here. And if you were to do that, it would just say previous instead of the actual title itself. And you can put next here if you want. I'm going to leave it with the actual titles of the post because then people will know exactly what they're going to and navigating to when they use these links at the bottom of a blog post. So right here is categories and it says navigate within current category. So if you have a bunch of different categories on your website, so this one is logos. Let's just say I had one that was design and another one that says CSS or something like that. You can choose to navigate within that specific category. So that can help you if you turn this on, I think, to improve the retention time of people on your website, or at least keep them on your website longer, because they're going to be looking for things related to the same category that they're reading about, most likely. They might not be interested in something like CSS when they're looking at logo designs, for example. So if you want to keep them within the same category, you'd want to toggle this on. In my case, they're all related to logos for the categories. And I'm I can either leave it on or off, and it's both going to display here. But how to set that up within post, if you don't know, you can see right here it says Categories Logos. If you want to edit the post, on the right side of the post here, it says Categories. And I added a new category and called it Logos when I update it and publish the post. So that's where you would be able to do that from. From here, we can go down to Navigation, and you can choose if you want to show both the previous and the next post. If you were to toggle this off, it takes away the next one. For example, I'm going to leave that on so they're both showing here. And next, I'm going to go into how to do a little bit of a design here. So you can design this in many different ways. I'm just going to show you the basics of how to set up a quick little design where it almost makes it look like these have buttons around it instead of just the link itself like this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go and click Add a Background Color. And the main color of this website, if you saw when I was scrolling down at the start, is maybe like this dark orange color. So if I wanted to, I can go and move this over on this color picker here and choose a color that maybe is a little bit dark orange. And then I can go and copy this hex code here. I'm just going to copy that number. And I'm going to just go and save it right here. I'm going to go back into it again. Click on this gear icon to go into the module settings. And here we just changed it to make this background color right here, this orange. And now I'm going to jump over to the design area to start making the design for this button or this mock button here that we're going to have for the background. 
So first I'm going to go to links text and since it's hard to read right now, I'm going to go and make the color white so it's a little bit easier to see. And here I'm going to actually go and change the font weight. So right now we have it as the regular. You can go and make it bold if you'd like. I know it doesn't look that great right now, but I'm going to add more of a border to it here in a second to make it look a little bit better. The link text size, you can adjust this as needed. I'll just go with 16 in this case and I'll scroll down here to where it says border. So within border, we can add rounded corners to this area and we can actually add a border width. So let's just start with adding a border width and you can see it gets larger. I'm gonna go and make it 15 in this example. You can make it larger or smaller as needed, but this is going to end up being basically our button area or what looks like our button here with this border width. And I'm gonna go down to border color go to the color picker here and I'll paste in that color code, that hex code. And now it looks like a button right here. Now to make these rounded corners, you can go up here and make sure all the links are attached by clicking this and it's going to be blue in the center. And I'll just go and add 50 pixels to each side and you can see it gives this rounded shape to it. And then that's really how simple it is to make it look like a rounded button rather than just some basic link text that doesn't really stand out when they get down to the bottom, they can go and see these various posts here. Now you can also do things like add maybe a box shadow. And if you wanted to, you could add something like this. You can see that faint little shadow below it right there. You could add one like this where it stands out a little bit more. It's really up to you, but that's the basics that I wanted to show you of how to make a decent looking post navigation module within just a matter of minutes here. So I'm going to go down here and save this and I'll click down here and save this as well. And that about wraps up the basics of how to make a quick Divi post navigation module setting here. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe for more Divi related WordPress tutorials. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.